Uh, the resettlement of shack dwellers who have set up homes on Cape Town's Central Railway line expected to commence next month, the relocation. Parliament's Standing Committee on Public Accounts, you might know the acronym, SCOPA, uh, was briefed by Human Settlements and Transport Departments along with Cape Town Mayor Jordan Hill Lewis. So well, they'll be appearing uh, before SCOPA again next month to give an update on whether the relocation of the first cohort of residents can actually start. But what does that look like? Where are they going to go and who's going to do it? ENCA reporter Kevin Brunt reports. Cape Town Central Railway Line has been out of service for nearly four years. And over 5,000 informal housing structures have been erected on the line since its closure. The train line has been cited as this city's most important as over 900,000 people live along this rail corridor and could have used trains if it were up and running. Prasa's acting CEO, Isham Imran, told Parliament's Standing Committee on Public Accounts that they are working on plans to temporarily relocate at least 900 people. To move them out of the 10-metre rail reserve that will enable Prasa to continue with the rehabilitation work of the central line. We've already uh, invested 650 million to recover the section up to Nyanga. We now need to get the services through to Kailicha, through to Kresani, and through to Mitchell's Plain in Captain's Club. Cape Town Mayor Jordan Hill Lewis outlines why the city cannot buy land to permanently relocate residents. We are saying this is an illegal occupation of Prasa's land. Uh, it's not city land. Uh, we did not allow the illegal occupation to happen. Prasa did. So Prasa and the national government need to actually take responsibility for that failure. So we're going to stand firm on that. But in everything else, we are helping. We are playing our regulatory role. And we will deliver services to those communities once they are set up. In fact, we are already doing so uh, on the train tracks right now. Human Settlements Minister Mamaloko Kubai explains they have approached National Treasury for funding and if a department buys a piece of land it still needs to be handed over to the city of Cape Town. We've gone to National Treasury to request for the money. We've not been successful. We'll go back again. But the reality is that there is a conjunction. Remember when HDA buys the land, it buys on behalf of somebody. They are not allowed to be the holders of the land. Okay? So they can buy they will still have to hand it over to the city, that land. With residents in limbo and efforts to start fixing damages to the rail infrastructure on hold, Transport Minister Sindisiwe Chikunga hopes all the grievances will be resolved soon. We stand ready to rehabilitate that corridor and have the railway line working. And, and recovering the services. That's, that's our core mandate. As a matter of fact, we're here because we need the support of others who are supposed to be the enablers. We're not experts on issues related to, to human settlement and how people are relocated. And we're happy that the Minister of, of Human Settlement is here and she's able to explain to us as to what the legal framework is about when it comes to these issues. And we're more than prepared to comply with that. And we're happy that at least now there will be the assessment for the safety of the areas where we'll be moving people temporarily as part of what is called Operation Begela. Contractors have been appointed to start Start with the Central Line's railway track rehabilitation, overhead electrical recovery and the upgrading of passenger stations. Prasa has also reiterated that as part of its National Integrated Security Plan, efforts to better protect railway infrastructure are being rolled out, which will include putting up a wall along the Cape Town Central Line corridor. Kevin Brand, Cape Town.